It's a rematch of Super Bowl 47, minus one Harbaugh. The Ravens and 49ers are underway. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. drive out on the ground. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now play fake. Lance. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. But we know that he can get first downs with his arm and his legs, Charles, and there when he gets outside of the pocket. The defense has to account for both, and he's able to complete it for the first. And he's very comfortable outside of the pocket. Some quarterbacks, that's not their thing for him. That seems to be the number one asset to his game. Gets out into the open field. Things seem to break down the secondary a little bit, and he picks out the right target. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Play action. Now it's Lance. And that's caught downfield by Kittle. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They'll get 34 yards there. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a start right out of them. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, a three-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw taken in by Watkins here. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Jackson now. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Throwing on second and eight. Jackson has got his man. It's Andrews. It, there he goes, right side. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. 
Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And the football changing hands here and as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Touchdown! For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. They'll run with Dobbins. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Second and goal from inside the five. Here's Jackson. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Throwing is Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And it's going to be batted down will go the other way with the football. They can't hook up on fourth and goal from the four. And this 49er defense stands tall down near the goal line. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Calais Campbell on the stop. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that his defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. 
Yeah, we kind of sense that one. He got a little too far forward before throwing, and that one will set them back. And remember, the NFL level, being aware of where the line of scrimmage is, is crucial. And here's the other part. Any part of the quarterback's body that's okay, near man. that line of scrimmage, he's going to get the benefit of the doubt. So he was clearly over the line. And they'll go for it. Lance. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he'll go out of bounds after getting this across the 15. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. On the toss, they run wide side with McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for, and it's third down and two. And you could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. After the interception, here's Jackson. This will be incomplete. Oh, a dream chance for a D lineman, but he couldn't pull that one in. But these are the situations that really tested defense and sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now, keep it to a long kick if indeed they end up trying one. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks it right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. On the double. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. And Lance going to throw. This one caught by Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle, 47 yards. And the 49ers have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the deep, they're looking for Andrews, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to take possession of the football.